Is it really possible for a tiny tweak to your morning coffee routine to ignite your metabolism and put your body into full fat burning mode for the rest of the day? Check out the link in the video description now and transform your morning coffee into a metabolism boosting super drink. A self-confessed party girl was hospitalized after contracting kissing disease from snogging random men in bars on nights out and says it ruined her graduation. Singleton Neve McRavey was left needing four treatment after she went clubbing with her friends earlier this month to celebrate finishing her degree at the University of Strathclyde in Glasgow. After meeting a random lad at the bar, the 22-year-old journalism graduate says the pair shared an innocent kiss on the dance floor and thought nothing of it. It was only when she woke up the following morning with a sore throat that she realized something was wrong but put it down to tonsillitis. Neve said her symptoms worsened over the next 24 hours, and when she began gagging on her own saliva, she visited her GP who prescribed her antibiotics. But when the medicine didn't work, she went to hospital where she was diagnosed with glandular fever and fitted within four to rehydrate her. Since snogging a stranger in a bar, Neve says she has been left almost bed-bound and has struggled to leave the house. Also called kissing disease due to being spread by saliva, this illness is caused by the Epstein-Barr virus, EBV. It is also called mono, short for mononucleosis, in the U.S. What is is it? A viral infection cased by EBV. How is it spread? Usually by exchanging saliva with an infected person. This can be from kissing or sharing cups or cutlery, but young children can also get it from sharing toys. People are usually infectious for several weeks before the onset of symptoms. What are its symptoms? Common symptoms include are there any long-term risks? Symptoms usually fade after two to three weeks, though fatigue has been known to last up to seven months. The virus behind glandular fever is suspected as triggering the onset of MS, though the exact mechanics of this interaction are not understood. Only a tiny fraction of people who have glandular fever ever go on to develop MS however. There have also been studies linking EBV infection to elevating risks of certain cancers. She even admitted contracting glandular fever ruined her graduation on Wednesday as her symptoms stopped her from being able to celebrate with friends and family. Neve, who has been single since March, is now warning other singletons to be cautious about who they kiss on nights out to ensure they don't face the same fate as her. Neve, from Glasgow in Scotland, said, it's called kissing disease. When I heard this so much regret was going through my head, I've been single since March. I've been going out every weekend with the girls, dancing and having fun. Occasionally, I'd meet a guy at the bar and get chatting and have a kiss on the dance floor. The first couple of weekends in June, I was out celebrating handing in my dissertation. I got a 2.1, so was out celebrating all the hard work. On Sunday, I woke up with a funny throat. I'm quite prone to tonsillitis, so I just thought it was this at first. On Monday morning, I woke up and I couldn't even swallow my own saliva and I was gagging on it. I was really ill, so I went to the doctors and they thought it was tonsillitis, so they gave my antibiotics. The antibiotics didn't work and I kept feeling worse. I had a very high fever, swollen glands, I was sweating buckets and vomiting and I was so weak I couldn't really walk right. I went back to the doctors a couple of times and they tried to give me more medication but nothing was working. I then went to the hospital and it turns out it was glandular fever. When you're drunk and single you don't think anything of it, kissing a random person, and it's just a bit of fun. It's been well over three weeks now and I've spent nearly a month of my life bed bound and at the hospital just because I kissed someone at a bar. I didn't really get the graduation I wanted. All I could manage was to walk across the stage, take my photos, and then go back to sleep. I had a lovely dinner booked with my family and then me and my friends had tables booked out everywhere for a big night out. According to the NHS, glandular fever is a viral infection that mostly affects teenagers and young adults, which includes symptoms such as a sore throat and extreme tiredness. The infection can get better without treatment, but it can last for weeks and make you feel very ill. Neve said due to her weak immune cysts, 